Hi, I just wanted to demonstrate a few of the upcoming features in Confluence 3.1. So here's the demo page. We're going to go ahead and click Edit. And the first thing we're going to do is embed uh, our Excel document, which is actually already attached using the macro browser. So the macro browser was out in 3.0, but there's some new uh, widgets and documents here. So I just click Excel. It finds the file. If there were other files, we could select them. It fills in all the relevant information. Click Insert. And we can click Save. So now the Excel document's embedded. Also, if we mouse over the top here, it shows us the name of the file. If I click that once, what it's going to do is ask if I want to launch Excel. I'll say yes. It launches Excel, brings it up, and if we want to edit some of the numbers here, I'm going to just save the document. As soon as I saved it, it was uploaded back to the page. Now if I click Refresh, we can see here that indeed the value on the or the file was updated on the server from what we saved, and here's the value. Uh, some other features, if we go to attachments, um, we see here there's this drag and drop area now, so we can drag and drop files directly in to the attachments page. We can also drag them directly into the edit area of the main confluence, and over here under actions, um, you can actually edit any file. So if we go ahead and click edit on PowerPoint, I haven't launched this yet so it might, might take a moment. There we are, we get the same behavior. And this won't be a perfect demo, but if I, if I change a value here, actually before I do that I'll switch back and embed the document. So we'll go back here and we'll edit the document again. We'll select PowerPoint. It finds it right away, embeds it. So there's our PowerPoint embedded. I'm going to go ahead and edit it. So I'll say change instead of Confluence as a platform to the platform. Hit save. If we jump back to the page, give it a minute to re-render, and voila, our changes took effect. So that's about it. Over here we have some uh, a nice um, view of the new uh, sort of in-place person profile with the activity stream. You can click on more which um, dynamically enlarges the activity stream and continues to do so. Possibly add infinitum, your network of people that you're following. Um, and then you can also edit the activity stream in place. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.